From creating a vertical end portal to a secret trick that can make you jump further, here are 35 Minecraft secrets I guarantee you didn't know. Number 1. Ever wanted to go teleport through walls? Well, with a boat, you can. All you have to do is drive a boat to a corner like this. Or you could face through straight walls using a dispenser like this. You'll never be trapped again. Unless the wall is two blocks thick, of course. Gosh darn it. Number 2. Never dry your sponges with a furnace. Instead, use the power of the nether to dry your soaked sponges. You don't have to waste any fuel. Too bad it doesn't work in the end though. I learned the hard way. Gosh darn it. Number three, we all love our pets in Minecraft, but did you know that cats are secretly evil? Cats appear cute and harmless, but within 15 blocks of baby mobs, cats are murderers. Cats will go after rabbits and baby turtles. This is why dogs are better than cats. Be gone, cat. I'm sorry. Number four, minecarts are very slow. And if you ever tried to make minecarts go faster by sprinting, you'd be saddened to know sprinting just changes your FOV in vehicles and doesn't actually make you go faster. The same thing for boats, horses, pigs. My life is a lie. Number five. Polar bears are mostly peaceful, but make sure you don't go near their cubs. Similar to real life, grown-up polar bears are very protective of their cubs. So whatever you're doing, make sure to not even get close to their babies, or you'll be met with an angry mother. I wonder if pigs will protect their babies. Nope. Number six. Unlike silverfish, endermites are secretly OP. When you throw an ender pearl, ender Endermites have a 5% chance of spawning, and for some reason, Endermen absolutely hate them. So much so that within a 64 block radius, the Endermen will blindly charge at the Endermite, allowing you to create an amazing XP and Ender Pearl farm. Number 7. We all know the water bucket clutch, but what if you could clutch without any items? Well, you can in single player. If you sprint off a ledge, that's over 35 blocks tall. Hold jump in the air and sneak right before you hit the ground. You won't take any fall damage. I have no clue why this works, but it does. I'll never die again. Number 8. Everyone knows that you should never hit a zombie pigman, but how do you make them peaceful again? You'll need to hide at least 55 blocks in Java Edition and 25 blocks in Bedrock Edition for about one minute, and the pigmen will forgive you. Just make sure the chunks with the pigmen are still loaded, otherwise their peaceful timer won't go down. We're cool now, right? High five! Ah! What did I do? Number 9. You can actually melt snow with a fishing rod. By throwing a fishing rod through lava, the bobber is lit on fire, melting any snow it touches. Not only is it super cool, but it also has a super satisfying sound. <sighs> Number 10. Redstone torches can surprisingly run out of power. When toggled rapidly, redstone torches burn out and release a puff of smoke. Luckily, this burnout is temporary, and after 3 seconds, your torch should be functioning like normal again. Darn! So that's why my piston kept breaking. Number 11. End portals are flat, right? Not exactly. If you place end frames in this exact way, you can create a vertical Vertical end portal, and it actually works. Once you put the eyes in, the end portal will spawn on the side for some reason. This is so cursed. Number 12. Replacing a block in creative mode can be very tedious because you have to both break it and then place a new block. But instead of doing that, if you right and left click at the same time, the block instantly gets replaced. This allows you to replace blocks floating in midair or even replace solid blocks with iron bars easily. Number 13. You can detect thieves with an enchantment table. The book on top of enchanting tables always turns to the nearest player, so next time your friend is snooping around invisible, you can catch them with the direction of the book. I'll never be robbed again! Damn it, Terry! Number 14. Dolphins are friendly creatures that help you swim much faster, but did you know that they could also kill you? When attacks, dolphins will turn hostile and attack you back. And not just one dolphin, the entire pod of dolphins, similar to zombie pigmen, will come after you. Ah, I'm sorry! Number 15. Minecraft has an inventory problem. It can be extremely difficult to travel long distances without getting your inventory full. Luckily, Minecraft has a movable storage system. Donkeys! Donkeys can be right-clicked with a chest to create movable storage. It doesn't provide too much storage, but sometimes on your adventures, it can be just enough to bring home that extra totem. Number 16. Llamas are actually really useful. Although you can't control their movement with a saddle, llamas are amazing for item transportation. All you have to do is tame a llama and put a chest on it. That's not it, however. When you lead a llama, up to 10 nearby llamas will follow. So by attaching chests to the other llamas, you can form a caravan of llamas and chests. My life has changed forever. Number 17. If you ever wanted to fly long distances but didn't have fireworks, you'll want to know this. You can combine slow-falling portions with an 
Elytra for insanely long flights. Although slower than fireworks, it is very efficient compared to it. This allows you to travel extreme distances with only one glide. Number 18. Have you ever wished cauldrons were more useful? Well, in the bedrock addition to Minecraft, you can actually use cauldrons to dye leather armor. Whenever you want a change in style, just clean up the armor in a cauldron and re-dye it to a different color. Finally, cauldrons are more than just a giant toilet. Number 19. When someone enters an end gateway, a purple beacon light activates. So if your friend tries to sneak away and steal all the elytras, you'd know it. But items can also be thrown into the gateway to trick your friends. Number 20. If you ever wanted to swim underwater with dolphins, you should get a turtle helmet. The turtle helmet gives 10 seconds of water breathing and can be crafted with five scoots. Scoots are obtained when a baby turtle grows up, so you won't be having to kill any turtles. Oops, I'm too late. Number 21. You can have waypoints in vanilla Minecraft. By naming a banner, placing it, and clicking it with a map, you'll see a marker on your map. This way, you can label different areas like your home and mob farms. Although you can't warp to them, they're still much better than having to remember the coordinates of all your bases. Number 22. If you ever placed a lily pad before, you'd know that it faces a certain direction. But did you know you can't control the direction the lily pads faces? No matter the direction you face, the lily pad always faces the same direction. Number 23. Ah, not again. Phantoms can be very annoying, but there's a way to keep them away without sleeping. You may know that cats scare away creepers, but did you also know that cats will scare away phantoms? Phantoms will stay 16 blocks away from cats, keeping both you and your sanity safe. Number 24. Traveling at night is extremely dangerous because mobs can sneak up on you from anywhere. There's a solution though. If you bring a parrot with you, it can actually imitate the sounds of nearby mobs alerting you of hostile mobs. Yes, no mobs will ever sneak up on me again. Okay, maybe it's not perfect, but it's still pretty cool. Number 25. You should never use coal to smell. One coal can only smelt eight times, while one lava bucket can smelt 100 times. And there's an entire dimension of it, for goodness sake. But if you want to save even more materials, just craft a campfire with one coal. And you can smelt infinite food with it. Number 26. The only way to get chainmail armor is either in creative mode or from a mob drop, right? Well, in older versions of Minecraft, chain mail could actually be crafted. This was done by using fire in a crafting table. The recipe doesn't make too much sense, but it was at least a way of crafting the chain mail. Sadly, you can no longer get fire in newer versions of Minecraft, leaving it as one of Minecraft's lost items. Number 27. How many bone meal do you need? If you used bone meal to grow a sapling and it didn't finish growing, it wasn't a waste. Although the tree didn't fully grow, the bone meal decreased the growing time and it actually helped. So it's probably Probably not a good idea to break and replace the sapling after using bone meal. Number 28. Minecraft turtles are pretty realistic. Just like in real life, turtle eggs in Minecraft will hatch at night. Turtles in real life do this to avoid predators and have a higher chance of making it to the ocean. These cute turtles also shed their shells in real life, and in Minecraft, they drop scoots. Number 29. Silverfish infested blocks are very annoying, but did you know they can be detected? Compared to normal Normal blocks, infested blocks actually have a slightly faster mining speed, so you'll know when you're mining one. This way, you can avoid having to deal with pesky silverfish when mining. Number 30, you probably know that you can press Ctrl and Q to drop an entire stack, but what if you wanted to drop only some of the items? Well, you can actually just hold down your Q button and it will drop down the items rapidly, allowing you to throw a ton of items without tiring your fingers. This also works in your inventory. So so you can easily drop whatever items whenever. Let's go. My fingers are saved. Number 31. You may know that phantom membranes are needed to brew slow falling potions. But did you know they also have a hidden use? When flying long distances, your elytra will lose durability. And if you don't have mending, phantom membranes can be used instead to fix your elytra. 32. Creepers are notoriously explosive and can decimate your bases. But you can actually avoid ruining your bases with a flint and steel. You can use a flint and steel to 
to ignite the creeper before he gets too close to your base. But if you don't use water, you may end up with some of these holes. Damn it, fill the holes up, Jerry. 33. This jump is impossible to 99% of players. The only way to make this jump is by doing a secret technique. By turning 45 degrees midair, you actually travel a bit further. This method is called the 45 degree straight and will give you about a 2% speed boost. It is the only way you can make this otherwise impossible jump. 34. Did you know there was wind in Minecraft? Although the player can't feel any of the wind, we can tell it exists by a few different things. The clouds in Minecraft always move westward, and if Minecraft didn't have wind, the clouds would just stand still. When a mob dies, the ash from the mob floats into the sky. 35. I always thought that the totem of undying was T-posing, but it's actually not. The two little stubs sticking out are actually wings, not arms. But it does make a lot of sense, since totems drop from killing evokers, and evokers summon flying vexes. Well, that's 35 facts. I hope you enjoyed them.